going on guys my name is Garrett and today I'm going to be starting a series called how to design an app and this is going to be completely um, UI there's I don't plan on doing um, any coding because I don't know um, you know C++ and all Java and all that stuff um, but it's just going to be the UI just the design portion um, you know the frameworks the wireframes um, the, the, the flow through the app all that kind of stuff um, so I'm just going to be taking you guys through my process of how I do the user interface, user experience for app design. Um, yeah, so uh, please feel free to follow along. And uh, the idea for the app is um, currently I'm in college, and um, every semester you you get new classes, obviously, and for those classes you have to um, you have to buy books and it's a super huge scam and super annoying and uh, this past semester when I was buying all these books I pulled out my phone in the bookstore and then I was like what whoa like what like I looked up on I looked up on the app store and I was like what if you could what if you could buy a book or do something with an app and then it went further along with if you paid a certain subscription that you could like you paid you know what what it would be what would it be like uh you know 10 20 bucks a month or whatever the subscription would be um, all the logistics we don't have to worry about but basically you'd pay a, a subscription and uh, you'd get access to all these books and you could have them all on your phone or iPad and instead of lugging all these books around you could you know just take your iPad to class open the book um, Hopefully your teachers allow iPads. If they don't, then then you have an issue. But just the, I mean the books, the the hard, obviously the bookstores would still be there. But it would just be this cool little app where you could uh, somehow you'd have all the rights to the books if you bought the subscription. Um, kind of like a Spotify idea, but with books. Kind of like that. Um, so yeah, um, the first thing I I do is obviously like develop this idea and brainstorm. Um, um, what I'm doing and for the sake of this this project I'm just gonna call it uni book like university book um, I mean just stupid name I'm not gonna do a logo or anything just you know uni book and some font um, I'm just really gonna be focusing on the user experience and the user interface so um, uh, the first thing I want to hit on is that when you're doing when you're starting this this design is you want to think creatively, but you also don't want to go outside the realm of what people are comfortable with. I mean, the first thing with the user experience is you want you want the user to be able to flow through it and they don't even have to think. You want them to be able to use your navigation, use your buttons to go through the app without them even thinking, where is this, where is that? And if they have to think about it, then it's bad design. So. Um, if you use things and it looks similar to a layout from another app um, and there's some subtle changes but that works then it's okay because you know that that experience works and if that that experience not all um, user interfaces will work for a certain app you just have to find something that'll work for your idea and it has to be along the lines with the standards that are out there because it just makes life easier for the user without them having to figure out a whole new thing and I mean personally I don't like having to figure it out so I wouldn't think anyone else does so let's see here first thing I like to do is just do a basic like background mm -hmm. just like this um, and you can do this on paper. You can you can do it on in Photoshop. I'm doing it fireworks. I like fireworks, even though the Adobe discontinued it. I'm still an avid fan. Um, I'll probably be moving over to Photoshop um, eventually, though. Um, so I'm just gonna start with this background. And the first thing I really like, honestly, like to do is you have to take your research phase really seriously. Um, there's a site called Pattern Tap that I really, really like. Um, it's a it's a site where you just type in. Um, if it pops up here, internet's a little slow. There we go. 
All right, so it's it's a web website with with a gallery of a, a bunch of different websites that have different um, elements, um, you know, because these like if you look at this this right here, this is your basic website with the banner photo, your little button here, and this stuff. But it give if you come here, it gives you ideas for color, it gives you ideas for placement gives you ideas for imagery um, and I mean you can look at all this and get inspiration from all this and do a site or do an app and it'll look completely different even though you got ideas from all these things um, so let's see mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go through here let's see I don't don't really like that um, I think since iOS 7 just came out and that's like super trending right now with the flat design, I think I'm just going to go um, make this um, go along with the iOS theme. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Another site you could use is just Dribble, or you could use um, you could use Dribble. You could use um, what's it called? Uh, you know, best web gallery, or you could use uh, good old Google Images. Um, but this this site is great. Um, it's just never-ending scrolling of a bunch of different design elements. And if you want, you can search stuff up here and find. They're called patterns, so you can find like you can search like navigation. And it'll bring up a bunch of different, you know, patterns that include um, navigation and how the people went about doing the navigation and little design elements within it. Um, anyways, I think I want to do, let's see, along the lines of this where it's like very clean and very simple, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of stuff going on, which is uh, pretty trendy right now. Just very clean simplistic um, straight to the point kind of thing not a lot of heavy fonts very very uh, thin and weight fonts so let's see let's see let me get open my text editor file new and let's just write out what we're gonna need for this app let's just figure out what we're gonna need so obviously the person's gonna have to come to the app and they're gonna have to do something when they first get the app and just like most other apps you're gonna need an email address when you're gonna have a subscription based so let's do we're gonna have to have a sign up form uh, with email so we're gonna need that we're gonna need a page for that um, we're also gonna need a generic home page um, maybe with uh, it says like unibooks at the top um, and it says in the middle it says uh, you know something like um, you know like uh, choose categories below so we have like a category a categories page with um, all sub like school subjects um, and then there may be uh, a search bar in this section, maybe something like that. And then we're going to need um, maybe something like uh, after you choose a book, or we're going to need the sections of the book. So when you search a book, you're going to need a, the list search book list um, you're gonna need let's see I was thinking maybe you could have like a preview and see the book and then you can have like a my book section for your semester that'll have you know uh, the book and then the information and then you can start reading it um, so let's see Let's just start with that, and then we can add on stuff later if we want to. Um, 
So let's start with that. Uh, I think I want to go with like a an orangish red. I don't know why, but I'm just I've never done something in that color scheme. And I just feel like it would be a nice color scheme. So, but you know, let's not think about color right now. I'm just going to do the. I'm just going to start the. Uh, the uh, the UI design in my little wireframes here. Um, so actually, I think I'm running low on time. So I will start this on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Definitely leave a comment below if you have any questions. Check out my website, and uh, you can send me an email as well. All right, thanks, guys. Take it easy.